record because it didn't it didn't enable yeah. automatically. My bad. My yeah. Bad. So I, I'm going to give you all or ask Luke or Caesar to drop my email address in the chat. And the first five students that email me at r shabazz at, at sdccd.edu, I'm going to gift you by way of John Parker a $100 Visa gift card to prove that college is already going to pay off to you. So the first uh, five students who email me today, uh, I am going to um, work with John Parker to provide you with a $100 Visa gift card. That's just thanking you for taking time out of your day. You could have been anywhere today, but you took time out of your day to invest in your education and it is already paying off folks. Welcome to San Diego City College. I can't wait to meet you in person. I'll turn it back over to you, Luke. Thank you so much, so much Dr. Shabazz, and thank you so much for being here. Folks, there, there, I think there's very few campuses that you would see the lineup that are here for you today. It's just a, uh, just a show, a uh, commitment to you, your growth, your development, and your education. So we're so, so happy, thankful Dr. Shabazz was able to come. And I saw the numbers jump up real quick when, when you said the money. So I think the word's spreading real fast. So that's awesome. <laughs> We will continue on our introductions to greet our wonderful students are, that are in our family, and we're going to be coming over uh, to our Vice President of Instruction. Uh, we're going to pass it over to the wonderful Miss Matilda Chavez. Welcome so much, Tilly, to the stage. Thank you, Luke. Thank you for having me here today, and thank you, President Shabazz. I can't compete with that. I don't have that to give away, but uh, woohoo! I was ready to type in my name, so I was going to—I was going to become a student and. And we, we need you all to come back. And um, thank you, Genevieve. I really, I, you really said it well. And that is that we're here for you, students. We're here to whatever questions you might have. We didn't know any other way to reach out to you to find out how is it that we can help you problem solve for the fall semester. We know that we've been away for a little bit of time and trying to work in the remote world and still trying to be as safe as possible. Um, we will, we do work really well to try and help address those questions and issues that you might have. However, we don't know what they are until you let us know. So please address those. I'll be happy to try to address any kind of questions, but mostly I'm here to address those about the classrooms, classes, what can we do? If you have certain ideas that uh, maybe I can make it a little bit better, I'm here to hear that too. So I'm here to just answer some questions. Thank you, Luke. And thank you and welcome everyone. And thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you so much, Vice President Chavez, for being here. We definitely appreciate that. Folks, they're going to keep coming. We have another amazing professional uh, admin here on our campus. I, I would like to welcome probably the newest member to Exec Cabinet, right? Executive Leadership Team. We have our Vice President of Student Services, Mr. Marciano Perez. Welcome to the stage, Marciano. Thank you, Luke, for that wonderful introduction. Um, and thank you all students for joining us today. I am, uh, please let me be one of the many folks that are gonna welcome you to our San Diego City College family. Uh, Luke used that word a, a little bit ago, and we don't take that lightly. We really do see you as our extended family. Um, we're here to support you and we're here to help you uh, succeed and reach your educational goals. Um, one of the things that I'm really excited uh, to share with you all is that um, I have heard from many students that have said, you know, I'm trying to figure out uh, classes and I'm trying to get with financial aid and I want to, I have to do something with admissions and records and, you know, how do I get in a hold of people because I know that we're in this remote environment and I want you all to know that we have never left, we have been here working, we have been on campus um, uh, trying to serve you as best we can. We have now moved into a phase where we have started to invite folks back to campus um, in student services to be able to provide some face-to-face, in-person uh, uh, services for you all. Um, so folks in admissions and records, folks in financial aid, folks in student affairs. Um, I know that our DSPS, student health, mental health, um, all of our outreach uh, folks um, are here and folks are ready to, to help you now what that doesn't mean is that we are open fully. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to just walk into every single office every single day and get some services, but we do have hours available for in-person uh, services. Some of those are by appointment. Some of those um, are going to be drop-in hours. Um, we will make sure that we are getting the information out and look at, posting it on our website so that you can have access to that. 
But all that to say is that we're here. We want you to have the information that you need. We know that this um, environment has been tough for a, lot of, for a lot of folks. And trust me when I say it's not just been hard for students, it's been hard for everyone. You are our heart and our heart has been uh, away from campus. And so we, we want you to know that, uh, that we're here to support you. Um, please continue to reach out. Um, I too am gonna uh, be around to answer questions. Um, I know I see from participants in the group, we've got lots of folks from student services, some of our faculty and classified professionals that are, are in attendance as well, that be able to answer some questions, but we just wanna say welcome. We're excited that you're here. Um, and please let us know how we can best serve you and help you get enrolled in classes. It is not too late. Thank you, Luke. Thank you so much, Vice President Perez. We definitely appreciate the, the kind words and the insight. Folks, we are here for you. Please understand that. We're definitely happy that you're here, that you made City your home, your family, and you absolutely still have time. More on that later. More on that later. A little cliffhanger. Uh, next, I would love to bring to the virtual stage an amazing professional, uh, just a tremendous person that's been on campus, helping our, our facilities, our staff, waking our way back to keep us safe. I would like to bring to the stage our Vice President President of Administrative Services, Dr. John Parker, to the stage here. Welcome, Dr. Parker. Thank you, Luke. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, students. Welcome back. I'm John Parker. I've been with the college since last August, so coming up on a year now. So I came in a COVID environment. And as Dr. Shabazz alluded to, I'm everything finance and facilities. And I can tell you that our number one priority for students is health and safety. That includes students, classified professionals, and faculty. Health and safety is our number one priority. And in fact, since last March, facilities, custodial services has ne have never really left the campus. We've been on the campus every day. I've since August have been on the campus on a regular basis, ramping up, meeting with COVID advisory task force at the district level and at the campus level to include members of our executive team. We are here, as is the, the theme, the recurring theme here for your success to provide resources and to ensure a safe and healthy environment. So anything that has to do with facilities, PPE, cleaning, disinfecting, COVID, food services, we are doing our best because this is all new for us, but we're in it together. We're doing our very best to ensure a seamless transition as we welcome you back for fall. Thank you, Luke. Thank you so much, Dr. Parker. And folks, I just want to open it up. I just want to open it up. And just in case, you know, uh, we're listening and that maybe you kind of forgot for a moment, this time is for you. This is your time to get your questions, your thoughts, your feelings answered. Now, we do have some questions that we want to go and, and go through because you, some of you folks may have submitted them previously. But if you have a question for the panel, for anyone up here today, I ask that you go ahead and drop it in the chat. We would love to hear from you. Uh, we have seen some nice little comments saying thank you, uh, but we want to hear from you. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat. We do have some questions that folks submitted previously, and we will go through those because sometimes if one person has a question, chances are the other person has the question. So that's always a great thing. So we can definitely open up. Um, and I, I think this would be a great first question if someone wants to, to jump in on our panel to answer, uh, answer this one. Question, can you go in person and as well uh, online for classes? Can we go in person as well as online? Does anyone want to take that one? Well, it depends is the answer on that one. It depends on the classes being offered. Um, we have tried to offer a good selection of classes that um, whatever is being face-to-face -face in person, that we also have some online classes offered on that. We also are looking at hybrid. So we do have some classes. Now, you probably won't see every single course that we have right now for the fall semester being offered in both ways. We're just starting to come back in that fashion. I think you'll start to see more things in the springtime um, open up a little bit more with, with both methods. Um, but you could be in a class that is face-to-face -face, and you could also take a class that's hybrid and you could also be taking a class that is totally online. Um, you can be doing all three styles at, or modalities at one time I'm not sure if that was actually that question, Luke, or if I addressed that or not, but there are some possibilities. Now, the other thing we would like to know is um, 
I, I think it would also be nice for us to know and faculty to know as we start to make our schedule for spring, what are those um, classes that people are really needing to be more face-to-face -face or hybrid? Um, the more the call that we hear and we know that there's people out there that want that, that's easier for us to fulfill that. Thank you so much, Vice President Chavez. So that, that's fantastic, y'all. You have the choice how you want to go to school, whether you want to come in person to have that experience, go online. There's also those hybrid versions as well. So it's it's really, this environment has been developed. It has been perfected to really make sure that you have every opportunity to get the style of learning that you would like. And that, that's what we're doing for our students at our amazing campus and institution here. Uh, another great question that came up, and I, and I think, you know, this is, this is a real concern. Uh, Mast, how are you able to to meet friends when you're behind a mask and uh no one, you know, I, I can't afford a mask. Well, uh, I can speak on our welcome centers. I think this would be a great thing. Uh, at our campus, currently we actually have welcome centers in our student services building, and it will continue to the fall semester where you actually don't have to stress about purchasing a mask. We will have a stock load of masks that you would be able to pick up when you come to campus. So you don't have to stress about that. I know for me, I, I've had many occasions where I like be in my car and forget it, have to like do that little run back to the car because you forgot it. But we actually have these masks for you. So a huge thank you uh, to Dr. Parker and his team. We will have masks for you. Obviously, it's great to to have a mask, we will have some reusable masks for you as well, but we will have some disposable ones on hand in case you do need one. So I don't, we don't want you to stress about that. Uh, anyone else want to mention anything about masks, welcome centers, anything else? I think important is that uh, while we're indoors, the masks are important to wear. Um, and I think as, as to the comfort of the individual, right? Um, especially when we're outdoors and we have more social distancing. I saw that piece about hard to meet people and know who's behind the mask. You know, when we're outside, those might be in places where we're not close to each other. We can take, we take a look, say, hi, Luke, I'm Tilly. Nice to see you, right? And then at least you can kind of, I know that gets difficult for the first time meeting somebody and stuff, but I would encourage that more in the outdoor environment um, for us. And, and as our activities start to grow throughout the semester and next semester, um, I think there'll be more options for that as well. I just wanted to add also that um, masks at this point, our district is requiring that all students, faculty and staff are masked when indoors. And so, you know, we're right there with you. You know, we, we will too be wearing masks. Um, we know that it's not sometimes the most comfortable, but again, it's about, you know, the health, health and safety of you as our students, our community, our faculty and our staff. Um, and so, you know, there, our district is requiring that all, everybody on campus, when you're inside, indoors, is masked. And again, you know, outside, social distancing, you know, uh, lots of open air, you know, you can make that choice if you want to, if you want to keep your mask on um, at that point. Um, but indoors, masks will be required. Thank you so much, Dean Escara. Um, a couple quick things, just housekeeping. Remember, uh, folks, if you do have a question for the panel or that, that you would like to know, please, please, please feel free to drop it in the chat. We would love to get your question answered because, you know, we obviously had some questions that were submitted before, but we also want you to know that this, again, is your time. Uh, and this is your, your form, your stage to get get what you need. Um, this is a great question. It just came in and I'm going to go ahead and post it in the chat for our for our panel. And I'll, I'll go ahead and ask it. Do you, you have to prove your COVID vaccine before you enroll into a class? Great, great question. Do you, you have to prove your COVID vaccine before you enroll into a class? Does anyone want to take that one? I can try and, and answer. I, I think uh, this is going to be another one, as Tilly would say, it depends. Um, if, this, if you are trying to enroll in a class that is meeting on campus, then yes, you must either have uploaded your vaccination card and or you must have uh, submitted documentation for, um, requesting an exemption for either medical or religious reasons. So you must have satisfied that requirement by either providing the vaccine or providing uh, the uh, submitting the uh, 
request for an exemption. So if you're going to be taking a class on campus, now again, not all of our classes are on campus. There's no requirement to take a class on campus. Um, so if you decide that, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting to get the vaccine for whatever reason, or, you know, I'm, I've been instructed I can't take one just yet. Um, you can, you know, we still have plenty of classes online that, that you can, um, uh, take. I also want to give the caveat that if you are enrolled in a class that has a requirement to be out in our community for whatever, I'm thinking of like nursing or some of our other programs that require you to go into um, a different agency to, to do field work, just know that that requirement for the vaccine may be different for the sites that you're working at. So I can tell you that if you are placed in any of uh, the medical facilities in San Diego County, you must be vaccinated um, in order to, uh, to uh, participate in that. So regardless of ours and whether you get an exception or not, if you're going offsite, um, those rules might be different. So we just wanna make sure that students know that when they're signing up for classes as well. Thank you so much, Vice President Perez. Um, we have like a general question that we can probably ask here. Uh, how can we transfer to a four-year university? Uh, did anyone want to take that one? I think we have some amazing transfer support services if we want to plug one of our programs and services. Anyone? I, I can do it. Um, so our, uh, you know, as, uh, as Luke mentioned, we have uh, an amazing career and transfer um, center on campus. We have some amazing faculty and uh, classified professionals that, that work out of that office that are constantly connecting our students with uh, four-year universities. We have opportunities for you um, when the application period um, is open uh, for transferring. They provide workshops. They help you get connected. They invite representatives from different um, colleges and universities to come. We have partnerships with our HBC, uh, HBCUs. We have partnerships with our other Hispanic serving institutions. Um, so so we, you know, we want to make sure that you have that information. Um, they provide workshops. Um, we want to make sure that um, if you are thinking about transferring, the important thing is that you get connected early, that you meet with a counselor and, um, and determine what your plan is. Um, there's different uh, pathways for, to, to um, attending a four-year university, whether you know, you're going to be um, on IGETSI or you're trying to do the path um, uh, process. So whatever that may be, um, just know that we have a fantastic counseling department that's there to work with you and help you set you up for success. Um, so if that is something that you're wanting to do is to transfer, we absolutely um, have the right people in place um, to uh, allow you to do that. Thank you so much again, Vice President Perez. We appreciate that. Here, here's, a, here's kind of a cool question. Um, which parts of the city are best for students to live coming from out of state? I mean, that's kind of subjective, I think. You know, I think people love to live in different areas. There's lots of great uh, places to live here uh, around the area. But I'm sure if you can, if you want to reach out to, to connect with our peer mentor lab or uh, uh, student affairs or one of our other offices, we would definitely love to, to chat with you. We can show you some areas that are close and near to campus. Uh, that will be awesome just based on suggestion. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely something we can uh, for sure help you with. Um, any other any other comments from the from the, the, the panel? I know we're, we're coming down on our time, but we want to do it. There's one big question I wanted to to get answered as well. There's I'll go ahead and put it in chat for everyone. And uh, I'm sure someone's going to 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 nail this one out of the park. Here we go. Uh, when is the latest day to enroll? Does anyone want to take that one? When is the latest day to enroll? You know what? Maybe I'll just take it. It's never too late to enroll, right? Classes start August 23rd at San Diego City College, and you can absolutely still have time to enroll. So don't you stress about that. I don't want you to worry about the latest or anything like that. Let's get you supported and started now. Uh, whether you know it or not, we have full team that are available for you today, today, right now, uh, immediately uh, happening here at San Diego City College virtually. And I'm going to go ahead and share my slide real quick so you can kind of see it. Our virtual welcome center is available so if you would like to call us feel free to call us if you want to email us you're more than welcome to email us if you're maybe like a little nervous to like give us a call you're like ah, i don't know if i want all that in my life right now please 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 submit our help request bit.ly slash city help request and one of our outreach staff will actually reach out to you not very many colleges will actually do that for you 
Uh, and then lastly, if you want any other support, any other connections, I would highly recommend visiting the sdcity.edu slash steps website and literally every single service, every single support that you would need to get started at San Diego City College would be there for you. So please, please, please check in for that. And I'll go ahead and drop that in the chat for you as well. Uh, May I make a quick plug for? Yes, yes, uh, yes. Um, just wanted to make a quick plug for our basic needs um, program that we have at City. We have a, a, a group of folks um, that make up our Welcome Home City team. Um, we have a basic needs assessment uh, instrument on our website that you can go to. Um, so I, I share that because I know a lot of students that you're thinking about coming to campus, you know, you're, you're making decisions about, can I afford to come back to campus? Um, am I gonna be able to afford rent? Am I gonna be able to, um, to be able to provide food for my family if I, if I take classes? You know, if I, if I have to work less, like what, what, how am I gonna, you know, make it? And I want you to know that we have lots of programs at City that support students with basic needs, um, including our Welcome Home City program that has a housing component. We have laptops available for students to, uh, to check out. Um, so, you know, if you're worrying about like, hey, I don't, I don't have a reliable laptop or I don't have internet, we have hotspots available. Um, we have uh, 200 action days every single month, the first Tuesday and um, the third Monday of every month, we're giving out boxes of uh, groceries to students. We have a brand new food pantry that's gonna be opening up soon um, that will be able to um, help students um, with, uh, with some basic needs in terms of getting food. I just met with a group today and they're, they're, um, we're applying for some, to, to be able to provide more than just food, like diapers and formulas for folks that have uh, uh, families. So we just want you to know that um, please don't let that be a reason that you decide um, that, or you think that you, city is not the place or that you can't come to school right now. Um, I say enroll and let us help you. You know, the, the, we're here to serve you. Um, if there is a way, we will find a way and, uh, and we want you to come to school and we want you to stay in school. Thank you so much, Vice President Perez. We did. I did see one question that came in and via our, uh, our Q&A and it says, uh, I can't seem to set an appointment with a counselor at City College. What should I do to meet with the counselor? Now, I do, I do, you know, we, we do understand that some of our services, you know, are backed up in that way. But I do want to provide one opportunity, if I can, uh, happening next week on Thursday, August 12th from 1030 to 1130 again uh, at 2 p.m. to 330 p.m. And then again on Friday, August 13th. 10 a.m. to 11.30, we'll actually have a program specially developed for you called City Jumpstart Your Success. And it's going to be a time for you to come to our, to our virtual campus, meet folks, uh, get connected with our faculty members. But we will also have our amazing enrollment session, which includes counselor availabilities for you to have uh, drop in with the counselor some questions get your get your questions answered about what courses you needed to enroll in for the fall semester so I definitely want to plug that we have a amazing set of faculty members and counselors program services galore are going to be there for you so if you haven't done so already please RSVP to jumpstart 2021 and this is going to be an amazing amazing time for you a anyone else want to jump in on that question but I would say jumpstart is a fantastic way uh, to see one of our faculty members to get some uh, support with choosing classes. You know, what I would say is I, I know that, uh, that there's the counseling question that, that keeps coming up. Um, and, you know, we want to say we, we understand that it has been um, something that has been a challenge for, for lots of folks. I want you to know that uh, Dr. Savage, who is our Dean of Student Development and Matriculation, has been working with our counselors. Um, we've, you know, been working with, uh, with hiring adjuncts to, to come in and support you. We know that, that you need to meet with, with counselors and you want to meet with them and just know that, um, that she's doing what she can uh, to offer um, those services. But we do encourage you to continue to look at, um, as Luke mentioned, you know, our city jumpstart is, is one way uh, to do that. Um, and uh, utilize the website. There are, there are appointments available every day. Uh, sometimes you just got to keep trying. You know, it takes a little bit of work. I know that that's, that sometimes can feel like it's really frustrating, but we want you to know that there are counselors and there are appointments available. Um, you just have to exercise some patience and, um, and work through the process. Thank you so much, Vice President Perez. Uh, before we close it up, 
Um, before we close it up, oh, I do see one question. How can I register for my classes? Let me go ahead and plug this service one more time. Uh, we do have our virtual welcome center. So if today you wanted to get some help, feel free to reach out to us. We have some amazing support. Uh, we actually have something called our city first step session. Uh, it is happening today. Uh, and I can actually put it in the chat before we leave. Uh, but first step is going to be an amazing session where you can get help right now. We have uh, outreach staff and peer mentors available to support you uh, at, on a drop-in basis. All you got to do is jump in and we'll be there to help you. I'm going to drop it in the chat. So if you need help registering right now, we would love, love, love to see you in that session. Our staff are waiting for you, um, but we would love to see you. Any last comments, things that you need from us folks, our panelists that you want to address for everybody? Please keep the questions coming um, and please submit them if you can in advance. If not, We'll be here or Luke will reach out to us. We'll get the right people here. We just want to make sure we're here for you and that you know that um, we're just trying to help you out as well to get back, back, in, back on campus. All right. Well, thank you all so much for being here. Students, again, welcome to the City family. If this is your first semester with us, maybe you're a student that took dual enrollment courses in high school. Maybe you're a brand new student from coming out of state. There is no better decision that you made than to be a part of the City family. It's an amazing, amazing place, and it really is a city environment. Folks, have an amazing afternoon. Be safe. Stay safe. First step is happening at 1 p.m. as we speak. So use the Zoom link to jump in right now. And some staff will be there and happy to help you to get started at San Diego City College. It is not too late to register. Please do so. Thank you so much, y'all. We'll also post this on YouTube if you want to consume and watch this again. Thank you again. Have a fantastic afternoon. Take care.